Jeff? <laughs> Jeff? That man's been out for years now. Who are you? I'm the new guy. Um, is this the Overwatch art department? Yeah, they moved me here to the storage unit because nobody works on the game anymore. We're working on a new Overwatch. Really? So I need some characters like right now, pronto. Give me the best ones you've got. I've got a great idea for a new DPS character. Junker Queen. It needs to be a tank. She wouldn't really be a tank. So turn her into a tank. I don't know, I think it'll be kind of forced. You know, just give her like a bunch of health and like the ability to just, you know, tank a bunch of hits. I can always come up with a new tank. Do you want a regular office again? Wait, like a real building and not the storage unit? Okay, yeah, I'll make her a tank. That's what I thought. I'm on it right now. I'll see you later. I gotta go kill the loot box department. Battle passes are the future. Junker Queen is the first new tank hero in Overwatch 2. Not the first new hero, that would be Sojourn, and I will eventually make Sojourn for noobs, but Junker Mommy, I mean Junker Queen, is so cool, I had to make this video first. And before you comment, oh, this new Mad Maggie skin is really cool, because I know you will, I already see you typing it, just know that I think she's cooler than Mad Maggie. Some of you already knew this because I put it on Twitter. I'm not ashamed. Junker Queen is the queen of the Junkers in Junkertown, Australia. Why did I say it like that? Her real name is Odessa Stone. And long before she ruled the Junkers, the Junker King kicked her and her family out of Junkertown. So when she got older, she wanted revenge and challenged him in a trial by combat. After winning, she became the queen. She was respected by all the Junkers and even took in Hammond in her inner circle after he crash landed from space. Well, not all the Junkers are cool with her, she has mad beef with Roadhog and Junkrat after she banished them from Junkertown because they tried to steal her gold and blew up her summer house and tried to assassinate her, so you know, they're not friends. But not much else is really known about the queen, except that she really loves fighting and her kit really shows that off. So now that you know a little bit about Junker Queen, let's learn how to play her, shall we? Her weapon of choice is a scatter gun. It's a shotgun with very short range, but in close range, it's very powerful and can melt enemies with ease, especially fellow tanks. Its range isn't too shabby either. It isn't as close range as Reaper, whose shotgun might as well be an airsoft gun after shooting 10 feet away, but low key Reaper feels kind of bad in Overwatch 2. What's that about? Junker Queen's entire kit is all about being up close and personal, and her passive ability, Adrenaline Rush, allows her to gain health back from anyone she wounds, which happens anytime she hits someone with her melee weapons, like her knife or axe. It's like a lifesteal, but even better because the enemy will constantly bleed out even after you stopped hitting them or even die. She's one out. Yes, I got two, I got two. Speaking of her knife, which is named Gracie, by the way, just so you know, her first ability, Jagged Blade, allows for her to throw her knife like a Call of Duty Black Ops Tomahawk. Seriously, some of the kills you get with this knife are gonna belong in those crappy top 10 Black Ops Tomahawk kills you've seen in 2007. and if it hits an enemy directly, it will do major damage and wound. wound. And you can call your knife back, which if it's stuck to an enemy, means it will bring them towards you as well. It's not as powerful of a pull like Roadhog, but it's so much better since even if you miss, it can still stab people on the way back and wound, wound them, which will give you some health back. It can go pretty far, so landing cool trick shots is always mwah, satisfying. And since it has a pulling effect, you can use it to knock enemies off the high ground or even pull them off the map, which I did live on Twitch. <clears throat> I... Oh, I got him! I pulled him in! I pulled him in! Oh, oh click that! Oh my so my God. God. <laughs> Landing this knife for a clean kill is so fun. But if you don't call back your knife, your melee would just be your fist, which is lame and doesn't wound. So call it back, okay? Her second ability is Carnage, which has her swing her axe and anyone hit with it will take a chunk of damage, up to 90 on impact, and they will all be wounded. Wound. Use this to secure kills on weakened targets. And if enemies are clustered, swing away and gain back a ton of your health while killing people in the process. It has a deceptive range, so just get used to how it feels and you might end up landing it on people when you least expect it. Her final ability, jeez, three whole abilities again? Blizzard, you need to just make simple characters, okay? Anyways, her final ability is Commanding Shout, where she literally just screams. 
and she gets 200 temporary health and all her allies near her gain 100 health. And you move 30% faster. This whole thing lasts for a few seconds, so it's kind of nuts. It's so strong when you're super low and need to survive a bit longer to win a fight. Or you can just use it to leave the fight completely. It's a great way to get back to the point quicker from spawn. And in the middle of the fight, it can save your team as well. This in tandem with your life sucking wound, wound attacks will make Junker Queen an unstoppable beast that will take so much to take out completely. Her ultimate is Rampage. She spins her axe and charges forward and anyone she hits is wounded and cannot heal for a short duration. This ultimate is a huge counter to defensive ultimates like Zenyatta or Moira. You can pair it with other strong ultimates like Genji or Soldier 76 to great effect. I'm ulting, I'm ulting, go, 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 go! Oh, that's it. That was it, Bumble, the Womble combo. Yeah, baby. Bumble's in the video, what? And even without other ultimates, it's just an insane ultimate for pushing an enemy team, especially if they're clustered up at a choke point. However, if your team wasn't expecting you to ult in, you can end up charging into enemies with no backup and uh, die. But with some coordination, this ultimate can be the push you needed to win a team fight and even win the whole game. Finally, play the game, let's go! <laughs> oh my God. Look at this, you see that? And then look, the Sarissa was like, I'm gonna try to stop you. And I was like, you idiot. What if you throw the knife like behind you, ult through them and then pull it through them? I don't know. This is the legend of the Chaka Queen! So as the person that knows the guy, that knows the guy, that knows the guy who designed Junker Queen, you can trust me when I say I'm the best JQ out there. That's what the cool kids call her. So listen to these pro tips. Number one, if you crouch after sticking the knife in an enemy, they will be pulled further backwards and fling behind you. I don't know if this was intended, but it can really ruin someone's position and be the reason they get eliminated. Number two, before using her axe, be aware of all the important cooldowns on enemies like Moira and Reaper's Fade, Zarya's Bubble, and Tracer's Recall. These abilities will essentially remove the wound and you won't gain health back. But if they don't have these up, you can potentially one-shot any of these enemies. Gandhi's deflect, on the other hand, can deflect the axe, which is crazy to me, but you know, I respect it. Number three, her scream isn't a normal health boost. It's like a mini Lucio ultimate. If you're hit with an Ananade or an enemy JQ ultimate, you can still use it and gain health. It's seriously just that OP and only on an 11 second cooldown. Number four, her whole kit is like an anti-tank kit. She has a shotgun, her axe and knife work through shields, and the knife cannot be sucked by D.Va or Sigma. And since they have so much health, you'll just keep life stealing from them. So basically, if the tank on the enemy team is giving you a hard time, switch to JQ and it will be a lot easier. She does what Reaper is supposed to do. Junker Queen is essentially like another DPS character, which I don't mind. Sometimes you want tanks to be more defensive, and sometimes you want tanks to be more offensive. She is the most fun I've had on a new hero in a long time, and I can definitely see myself maining her. But how is she for noobs? For noobs, I would say that she's medium difficulty to play. Her weapon isn't too complicated, and everything about her is just knowing when you should use her axe and being good at throwing knives, which every Call of Duty kid should be good at at this point. But what do you think? Do you think Junker Queen's easy to play or hard to play? Do you think she's broken and needs nerfs or she's pretty weak and needs buffs? Let me know in the comments down below. Overwatch 2 isn't officially out, and thankfully I've been able to play the beta, and by the time this video comes out, more and more people should have access to the beta, so I'm hoping that you enjoy Overwatch 2, and maybe you'll subscribe and come back for more Overwatch content, because now that Overwatch 2 is basically just around the corner, you should expect a lot more Overwatch content for noobs, including Overwatch 2 for noobs when it officially comes out in October. But uh, I gotta go design the next character, so uh, I'll catch you later, ya noobs!